dear students in this lecture we will discuss about the electronic transitions and the selection rules and also we will discuss about the uh, relaxation of the selection rules okay what is electronic transition so electronic transition is about the transfer of electron from the ground state to the excited state there is one ground state so this is the energy level actually so uh, when the uh, the electrons in the ground state the, the the ground state absorbs the electromagnetic radiation then the electron from the ground state it transfer to the excited state and at the excited state it remains for about 10 to the power minus 8 second and then comes back uh, it can come back in the form of light or in the form of heat so this is actually the total gist of any transition now uh, electronic transition electronic transition means transfer of electron from ground state to the excited state by absorption of the electromagnetic radiation and during this transition the electronic arrangement will be changed we will see that at the ground state the, the electronic configuration will be different and in the excited state the electronic configuration will be different so during this transition the electronic arrangement will be changed and this transition is responsible for the absorption band because this is the absorption of electromagnetic radiation so it is responsible for absorption band and for any type of transition there are some selection rules so likewise in case of electronic transitions also there are certain rules and these rules are known as transition rule or these are selection rules these are selection rules because these uh, selection rules they governs the electronic transition they governs which uh, transition is possible which transition is not possible that is affected by the selection rule so if the transition if the electronic transition is uh, follow these selection rules then the transitions are allowed transitions and if the transitions do not follow the selection rules then the transitions are called as forbidden rules forbidden transitions so these selection rules they decides about the type of transition either it is uh, this is uh, allowed transition or forbidden transition so if the transition will follow certain rules then it is an allowed transition and if it is not it, 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 it does not obey the rule then it is forbidden transition now uh, there are three two kind of rules in case of electronic transition so among these two rules the first rule is spin selection rule so this spin selection rules it suggests about the spin change during the electronic transition okay now transition occurs between states of same multiplicity so if the transition of electron occurs between the states of same multiplicity then it will follow the spin selection rule and if it is following the spin selection rule then it is allowed transition and if the transitions occurs between two states of different multiplicity then the transitions are not following the rule so it is a spin forbidden transition so according to spin selection rule the transition should occur between the states of same multiplicity so if it is not occurring then it will be a spin forbidden a spin forbidden transition let's uh, understand with the help of example so this is the example of electronic transition so here you can see that this is the case of d1 octahedral complex 
so in case of d1 octahedral complex this is the ground state okay so the electron is in the t2g set now the configuration become t2g1 so due to presence of one unpaired electron the spin become half and as the spin is half the multiplicity is 2s plus 1 so multiplicity become 2 now when the electron will transfer to the eg set so this is electronic transition the electron will transfer from this t2g to eg now the electronic configuration will become eg1 again you can see that the spin of the uh, the electron was half and you will find the multiplicity due to half and uh, spin it it is again this is 2 so multiplicity is again 2 now if we see this state i had already taught uh, uh, these uh, the evaluation or the determination of ground state terms or any term in uh, one of my videos so uh, here you can easily assess that if the electron is asymmetrically filled in the t2g set then it is there is three there are three possibilities of arrangement of this electron it may, may be here may be here or may be here so because there are three possibilities so the state is t so this state is t now its multiplicity is 2 so multiplicity is 2 and it is actually t2g because the ground state term is uh, actually these are uh, they are coming from two, uh, 2d term and the d1 configuration has 2d ground state term which we have already studied in the russell sundress coupling or spin orbit coupling which is helpful in determining the ground state term of any configuration so for d1 configuration the ground state term is actually 2d and for d term it, it, it splits into two molecule terms one is eg and other is t2g the multiplicity will remain the same if it is having the two so this is atomic term and this is molecule term so this these are the two terms which are generated after the formation of octahedral complex so we know that this is the uh, d1 configuration so uh, the the ground state term will be 2d and the two term will be generated either uh, they they are t2g and eg so if we see this state the uh, the the electronic arrangement may be of three types so it is triply degenerate three possibilities so it is t so it is triply degenerate so it is t2g and if we see this configuration which it is the excited state configuration actually this is the ground state and this is the excited state so in the excited state you will find that one electron will transfer from t2g to eg so that configuration will become eg1 and and now you can see that the, there are only two possibilities for the arrangement of this single electron so due to two possibilities it is e term so it is eg term multiplicity will be so again multiplicity will be 2 and it is eg term so you will find that the multiplicity is remain the same it is 2 here in the ground state and in the excited state it again it is 2 you can find it is 2 t2g and it is 2 eg so transition is occurring in between the terms having this same multiplicity so this kind of transition is allowed number two you can find that the spin of this electron it is plus half and after transfer after transition it remains plus half if the the spin of the electron after transition will remain the same it is following the spin selection rule so because their spin is same so their multiplicity will also remains the same so if the multiplicity is same then it is following the spin selection rule so the, the transition will be spin allowed transition now you can see uh, these kind of configurations this is the case of d5 configuration and if we uh, if we see this is the ground state term for d5 configuration so uh, this is having the electronic configuration t2g3 eg1 
2. So, this is for octahedral complex. Now, after uh, transition, this electron will shift or transit to the EG set so that the electronic configuration will become T2G2 EG3. Okay. So, now you can see that this electron is having plus half spin and after transition because there is already one electron in this EG set. So, this electron after transition it has to change its spin. So, uh, you can see that this is ha having the plus half spin. Uh, this is having the minus half spin. So, you can see that here due to presence of 5 unpaired electrons the spin is 5 by 2 so that the multiplicity will become 6 multiplicity is equal to 2s plus 1 okay now after transition of one unpaired electron from eg to uh, from t2g to eg the electronic configuration will become t2g2 and eg3 so this is the first excited state Okay. Now, you can find that 1, 2, 3. And now, there are only 3 unpaired electrons. So, the spin will become 3 by 2 plus half plus half plus half. So, total spin will become 3 by 2. And if this becomes 3 by 2, then multiplicity will equals to 4. Now, if one electron will again transfer from T2G to EG, the configuration now become T2G1 in EG4. Now, you will find that again this electron has to change its spin if it has to transfer from here to here. Now, you will find only one unpaired electron and S will become half and multiplicity will become 2. So, this is the another excited state uh, for D5 configuration. Now, you can find that here the multiplicity is 6. Okay. So, this is the ground state and in the excited state 1, the multiplicity becomes 4 and in the second excited state, you will find the multiplicity will become 2. Why the multiplicity changed? The multiplicity changed because the spin of the electron will change. This is plus half and after transition, its spin will become minus half. Likewise, uh, in the second transition, the spin of this electron will change to minus half. So, due to change in the spin, they become paired. Okay. So, due to their pairing, the unpaired num in, in the number of unpaired electron will reduced. So, due to reduction of unpaired electron, the multiplicity will also change. So, now you will find that the transition will take place from 6 multiplicity to 4 multiplicity term, 6 multiplicity term to 2 multiplicity term. So, the transfer of electron in between the terms of different multiplicity. So, it uh, the transitions are spin forbidden transitions. So, due to spin forbidden transitions, this is the special case of D5 configuration. This is the only configuration in case of transition metals where you will find the spin during the transition will change. Hence, the, uh, the transitions will be spin forbidden. So, if they are spin forbidden, then intensity of the color will very low. So, that the complexes of Mn2 plus, because Mn2 plus is having uh, 5 D electrons, so it is, they, the complexes are very light in color. Why light in color? If the, uh, the uh, Transitions will be forbidden, especially if they are spin forbidden, then their intensity will be very low. So, I think you can understand, if you can, you can also um, uh, said that uh, the, if the uh, spin of the electron will change during the transition or the multiplicity of the uh, states will change during the transition then the the, uh, the transitions will be spin forbidden and if the transitions are spin forbidden then the intensity of the color will be very low so the mn complexes are very light in color so again these are the two conditions this is D1 configuration where you have seen that the ground state term was 2T2G and the excited state was 2EG. So, the, uh, the electronic transition is uh, uh, 
occurring between the states of same multiplicity two multiplicity to two multiplicities multiplicity so it is a allowed transition but in case of d5 configuration mm -hmm. you will find that the ground state term is having the six multiplicity while the excited state can have the four multiplicity so the transitions are spin forbidden transitions okay so this uh, this is the actually the first excited state it may be t uh, it may either t1 or t2 then uh, the uh, the second excited state in case of the second excited state you will find that the uh, the transfer is occurring from six multiplicity to two multiplicity um, so again these are spin forbidden transitions this state cannot further split into molecular terms because it is singly degenerate term so the transfer of electron uh, occur from six multiplicity to two multiplicity now you can also understand about the 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 complicated nature of the orgal diagram of d5 configuration why we have taken the the terms of six multiplicity and four multiplicity because the excited states are having the four multiplicity and two multiplicity so we have uh, only one term is there with the six multiplicity so in the orgal diagram because it is colored the color the compound is colored but it is very light colored complex so the transitions are there so the transitions are actually from six multiplicity to four multiplicity terms so that in the orgal diagram we show the all the terms which are having four multiplicity and a six multiplicity term because the the term with the greatest uh, multiplicity will be the ground state term we also learn from the Hund's rule so this is the ground state term and these this will be the excited state term so we have to take these into account in the orgal diagram while the orgal diagrams of other uh, configurations comprised of only one the terms having this same multiplicity but in case of d5 configuration we have to consider uh, the two multiplicity terms to show how the uh, the d5 configuration shows light uh, colored uh, color in the complexes so because the excited states are having four multiplicity in the tenebo sugano diagram we also take the the terms with the two multiplicity so as a gist we can say that if the delta s is equal to zero it becomes spin allowed the transitions are spin allowed and if the delta s value is not equals to zero then the transitions are spin forbidden again you can see here the spin is plus half and here the spin is plus half so the transitions during the transition the spin uh, remains plus half to plus half so the delta s the change in the spin will equals to zero so it is allowed transition okay while in case of d5 configuration you will find that the spin of this electron is plus half while this electron is having the spin of minus half so that the total change in the spin will be uh, plus half plus one so the the uh, transitions having delta s value not equals to zero that are spin forbidden transition the second selection rule is leopard selection rule or it is also called as orbital selection rule because it is related to l of the uh, uh, orbitals uh, or of the energy states actually here we are uh, talking about the energy states so it is related to the orbital so it is known as leopard selection rule or orbital selection rule so here uh, in the molecules which are having the center of symmetry like octahedral complexes we can we represent the uh, the states uh, with the help of g and u i have already uh, 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 told you in some uh, previous videos that the molecules having the center of symmetry they can be denoted by g and u notation at the subscript of the terms or states 
so for for which kind of uh, orbitals or which kind of states we use the term g that are s and d and for p and f type of orbital we use g u we use u so these two orbitals they are known as the uh, they are having the odd l value they are having the even l value so these are g rate and i have already discussed to you g rate means they have center of symmetry center of inversion so if we move from one lobe to the other lobe we will move from same wave uh, sign to the same wave sign so and then they are uh, denoted by g so likewise the orbitals the terms also uh represented by g and u in case of the molecules having center of symmetry okay so now if the transition of electron is taking place from g to g g to g states okay so uh, this state uh, it, this, the, i have shown the orbital so if it is from s to s this is g rate to g rate so s to d it is g rate to g rate d to d it is g rate to g rate uh, if we if we uh, represent it by is capital s to capital s capital s to capital d capital d to capital d it means the transition of electron from s state to s state s state to d state d to d state then they are known as g to g type if the transitions are taking place from u to u like p to p f to f p to f because p and f they are u type and s and d are g type so if the transitions are taking place between the states of same parity then the transitions are forbidden transitions so these kind of transitions are forbidden transitions if the transitions are occurring in between the orbitals having the different parity like uh, this is Uh, g rate type of orbital and this is un g rate type of orbital so if the transition is occurring in between g and u u and g p and d and d and f g u so this is a kind of g u because it is g it is u so these kind of transitions they are known as leopard allowed transitions so this is the leopard rule that if the electronic transition is occurring in between the states of same multiplicity then the transitions are forbidden so delta l if delta l is equal to 0 or plus minus 2 then these transitions are leopard forbidden you can see here its l value is 0 and its l value is 1 okay so this uh, the difference is plus 1 so if this is this occurs if this is plus minus 1 then the transitions are leopard allowed transition so this has and this is having l value 1 and this is having 2 so the difference is again plus 1 this difference is again plus 1 so if delta l value is plus minus 1 that it is uh, leopard allowed to transition and if uh, here you can see that uh, this is having the 0 and 0 so 0 to 0 Uh, l value then it becomes zero or you can see this is having the l value of 1 and it is having l value of 3 so the difference is plus 2 so if delta l is zero or plus minus 2 then it is leopard forbidden transition so according to spin selection rule if delta s is zero then that is spin allowed while in case of leopard selection rule if delta l is zero then it is leopard forbidden transition uh, what do we mean by actually the uh, the allowed or forbidden transitions the allowed transitions uh, actually uh, they are intense uh, transitions they are showing the intense peak while the forbidden transitions they show the weak peaks in the absorption spectra okay so now there are certain relaxation in the selection rules sometimes uh, uh, due to the, for, the the transitions are forbidden but they appears as intense absorption peaks so this is a kind of relaxation in the selection rules 
so if the forbidden transitions they become partly allowed then this is the relaxation in the selection wheel so in this relaxation case the is for the spin selection rule the relaxation is spin orbit coupling so due to spin orbit coupling sometimes you will find that in spite of the spin forbidden transition the there may be possibility of allowed transitions so that the forbidden transitions become partly allowed so one of the reason in the spin selection rules relaxation is spin orbit coupling the ground state and excited state states they split into a number of j states due to the spin orbit coupling i will show you how this occurs ground state and excited state they split into a number of j states uh, due to the spin orbit coupling the states having the same value of j actually they come closer in instead of the having the different multiplicity the different multiplicity terms they come closer and mix together and new energy levels generated and they have the same resultant of j value and due to the same resultant j value the transition become partly allowed how i will show you with the help of diagram so here you can see that if this is the lower state and this is the higher state it may be the uh, these may be the uh, states in between uh, there may be some states below this state that may be the ground state these are the states in between several spectroscopic terms okay now you can see that this state is having one multiplicity and it is having three multiplicity and you know that there is no possibility of transition from here to here electronic transition from here to here because the multiplicity are different and you have already studied the spin selection rule where you have studied that the transitions between the states of different multiplicity the, uh, the transitions are not allowed they are forbidden but due to spin orbit coupling you will find that this 3p state again is split into three states 3p0 3p1 and 3p2 why this is so because this state and because its multiplicity is 3 so for this state the s value is equals to 1 and because it is p so l value is also 1 okay so multiplicity is 3 so j value will equals from l plus s to l minus s and these value will be 3 because the multiplicity is 3 so uh, you will find the j values will be 1 plus 1 2 then 1 plus 1 minus 1 1 and then 0 so 3 j values will be possible so due to spin orbit coupling spin and orbit coupling the new um, a uh, quantum number that is j will be generated and it has three values so that these 3p will split into three states due to spin orbit coupling so they become 3p0 3p1 and 3p2 now if we see the 1s then due to this multiplicity its s spin will be zero and l will also be zero because uh, the state is s okay so because these two are zero so j value will also be zero j value will be also be zero so only one state will be possible after uh, ls coupling so you can see now these are having the three multiplicity and this is having the one multiplicity but there is one similarity that is the two adjacent states are having the same value of j so due to the same value of j these two states they mix and after mixing the state with higher energy its energy will again increase and the state with the lower energy its state is its energy will decrease and after generating new energy levels this 
state will become mixed triplet state with singlet character it is triplet state but due to mixing with this due to similar j values it the state is having some singlet character and now this is the uh, the singlet state but after mixing it will have some um, uh, trip, uh, triplet character also so now you can find that it is not purely triplet and it is not purely singlet okay so their uh, j value due to the equal j value their multiplicity will also become equal partly equal so now the transition will become partly allowed due to the mixing of this triplet state with the singlet state so now these kind of uh, the transitions they become partly allowed so this is the relaxation in the spin selection rule that if the two adjacent states are having the same j value they can mix and after mixing they generate new energy levels and these energy levels the, the state having the higher energy will destabilize and the state having the lower energy will stabilize and their multiplicity will mix and due to the mixing of the multiplicity uh, they uh, become not they become uh, the mixed type multiplicity it is not purely triplet it is not purely singlet so that the transition will become possible now it is allowed transition now so spin orbit coupling is the uh, the phenomena that is uh, that relaxes the spin selection rule now there are two uh, uh, different techniques uh, different methods which are helpful in the relaxation of leopard selection rule the one is lowering molecular symmetry so if we see the tetrahedral molecule if we see if we compare it with the octahedral molecule so tetrahedral molecule is having lower symmetry as compared to the octahedral molecule the tetrahedral molecule uh, we are we are talking about the transition metal complexes so tetrahedral molecule of transition metal complexes so in case of tetrahedral complexes as we know that due to lack of center of symmetry of tetrahedral complexes the p and d orbitals of the tetrahedral molecule they are having the same symmetry and that symmetry is d2 we are not using g or u in this t2 term because this is not having the center of symmetry octahedral complexes they are shown with the help of g and u at the subscript but due to lacking of center of symmetry uh, the p and d are having the same symmetry that is t2 so due to same symmetry where the states are having the same symmetry they can easily mix so p and d will mix easily so mixing of p and d orbitals takes place in case of tetrahedral molecules and due to this mixing you will find that energy levels from the tetrahedral molecules neither purely derived for d orbital nor from p orbital actually uh, we are uh, we are talking about the dd transition so we are talking about the d orbital so due to mixing of d orbital with the p orbital because both are having the same symmetry that is d2 so due to this mixing the d orbital is having some p character okay it is not purely p in character now the ground and excited state have different degree of g and u character you know that d is having the g character and p is having the u character so as they mixed with each other now the ground state and excited state there they because it is tetrahedral complex so ground state will be e and excited state will be t2 so the ground state and the excited state they have different degree of g and u character because of mixing of these dxy dyz and dzx with the p orbital so t2 set will mixed with the p orbitals while e set will not mix with any other so e will remain d 
so this is e and this is t2 so this will remain the having the characteristic of d while these are mixed with p orbital so due to this mixing this will have some p character also now the the transition will become in between uh, this is d orbital and this is t2 orbital so these t2 orbital they uh, in they mixed with the p so the transition will occur in between d and d plus p now you can see that the in case of leopard uh, forbidden uh, transitions the d to d transitions will be leopard forbidden but here due to mixing of these uh, p and d the excited state this uh, this uh, the uh, the d2 set will become partially having the p character so it become u and it is g so the transition is taking place from g to u now it become partially allowed transition while in case of the octahedral complex you are uh, seeing that the transition is d to d that is g to g okay if we talk about the octahedral complex that are trans isomer they have center of symmetry so the transition will be d to d and it is g to g so these transitions will be leopard forbidden if we see the case of cis isomer then we will find that cis isomer has no center of symmetry so its symmetry will lower the the molecules having no center of symmetry their symmetry will lower so the the, the ground and excited state they remain not purely g so the transition was not purely purely g to g and uh, the partly allowed transitions will occur in case of cis isomer so this is again the relaxation of uh, leopard selection rule that is that due to uh, lowering of symmetry the uh, the uh, transitions become partly allowed transitions now the second type of relaxation is vibronic coupling and this kind of vibronic coupling it occurs in the octahedral complex which are having the center of symmetry and uh, due to the center of symmetry it should not be leopard allowed but they become partially allowed due to vibronic coupling as we know that all the molecules they have a number of vibration vibrational motion at each time and but they always present in the lowest vibrational state that is totally symmetric generally it has g character but in case of leopard rule we have to ignore this vibrational uh, state because in the electronic transitions there are vibrational motions as well as the electronic transitions so we have to consider both kind of uh, motions that are vibrational motion and electronic transitions together so if we are talking about the electronic transitions also then we will find that vibrations of the atoms in a molecule they can couple with the electronic state and uh, uh, due to this coupling which is known as vibronic vibronic coupling the transitions become partly allowed so why in case of octahedral complexes all the transitions we have already stated that all the transitions are d to d so they should be leopard forbidden but due to this vibronic coupling the transitions in the symmetric molecule they also become partly allowed so in case of octahedral complex because they are having the high symmetry and due to high symmetry actually uh, they should show the leopard forbidden transitions but their transitions become partially leopard allowed due to vibronic coupling due to different vibrational modes the center of symmetry of octahedral complex is destroyed and due to destruction of the symmetry of octahedral complexes the electronic transitions will no longer be g to g type and they become allowed the due to lack of symmetry in at certain positions 
the uh, the due to lack of symmetry the g to g uh, it not remained for a longer time so they become leopard allowed these are the octahedral complexes and there are the different kind of motions in these octahedral complexes you can find that this octahedral complex uh, and this octahedral complex they loses their symmetry due to different vibrational motions and these vibrational motions they couple with their electronic states and due to this lack of center of symmetry which uh, which arises due to vibronic coupling the the transitions that are actually g to g actually the the transition metal complexes they show the d to d transitions and these are g to g type g to g type when it is having the center of symmetry but due to the vibronic coupling its center of symmetry decreases and due to decrease in the center of symmetry now they are not purely g to g due to lack of symmetry there will be some u character also so due to this mixing uh, due to this mixing of g and u character now the ddd transitions they become uh, partly allowed so these are the vibronic coupling uh, the the um, g to g the leopard relaxation rule it becomes relaxed due to the vibronic coupling this is all about the electronic transitions and selection rules so now i conclude the lecture we have studied in this lecture about the electronic transitions what are electronic transitions for electronic transitions uh, there should be some ground state and some excited state and the electron will absorb the electronic radiation and then goes to the excited state and this is responsible for the absorption band now the selection rules actually the some there are some transition rules which transitions are allowed and which transitions are not allowed so in case of electronic transitions the transitions that follow some selection rules they are allowed transitions and which don't follow the uh, uh, selection rules they are forbidden uh, transitions so there are two main selection rules in case of uh, electronic transition one is the spin selection rule in a spin selection rule you have shown that uh, this uh, the uh, the transitions between the states of same multiplicity they are allowed transitions so that the delta if the delta s is equal to zero then it is spin allowed and if it is not equal to zero then it is spin forbidden so the the if the spin of the electron will change during the transition then it is spin forbidden transition and if it is not changing then it is spin allowed transition uh, then the second rule is leopard uh, selection rule and there uh, you have uh, seen that uh, the transitions between the states of same parity are forbidden like g to g and u to u they are forbidden transitions while the transitions in between the states of um, uh, different parity they are allowed transitions like g u u to g so that theta f l is equal to 0 or plus minus 2 then it is uh, leopard uh, forbidden transition and if uh, delta l is equals to plus minus 1 then it is leopard allowed transition then there are certain relaxations in the selection rule in spite of the not following the selection rule uh, the sometimes the uh, transitions become allowed so uh, in case of spin selection rule the uh, relaxation is the spin orbit coupling so due to spin orbit coupling the j uh, quantum number will be generated and it will split the state further according to j value and if the two adjacent uh, states are having the same j value uh, while they are not having the same multiplicity uh, they will mix and after mixing their multiplicity will also mix and due to mixing or multipli multiplicity uh, the transition will become partially allowed and the relaxation in the leopard selection rules are two one is uh, lowering of molecular symmetry and other is the vibronic coupling so lowering of molecular symmetry means if the symmetry of the molecule will lower like uh, from octahedral to tetrahedral so if in case of tetrahedral complex because due to lowering of the symmetry d and P, they are not having G and U uh, at their uh, subscript. So, 
uh, the, their symmetry will become equal that is d2 so they can mix and so that the d orbital will not remain purely d orbital there is mixing of p so uh, they become partly allowed now in case of cis isomer cis octahedral isomer there is no center of symmetry again so it is lowering of symmetry again it becomes partly allowed transition while in case of octahedral complexes which are having the center of symmetry vibronic coupling is one of the uh, uh, phenomena uh, due to which the leopard forbidden uh, rules they become partly allowed why because uh, the octahedral molecules or any uh, molecule with the having the center of symmetry they uh, their vibrational levels they couple with the electronic level and due to this coupling the center of symmetry uh, destroyed the center of symmetry of the octahedral complex is destroyed and so that the electronic transition will no longer be g to d type uh, so it becomes a leopard uh, allowed transition so this is all about the selection rules and electronic transitions the uh, uh, the uh, follow the uh, the uh, transitions that are spin allowed they are more intense if the the transitions are leopard allowed and uh, uh, because all the transitions are uh, here the dd transition all are leopard forbidden actually in case of charge transfer complexes they are uh, spin allowed as well as leopard allowed so they are very intense color if the uh, transitions are spin allowed and leopard forbidden then they are uh, they are less intense uh, then if uh, the transitions are having both spin forbidden and leopard forbidden transitions then they are very weakly weak intensity uh, absorption spectra so that is the case of d5 configuration where you will find that the uh, the transitions are not following the spin selection rule as well as the leopard selection rule so they are very uh, very uh, uh, weak in color they are very uh, light colored complexes while in case of charge transfer complexes like uh, i have already discussed in the um, some of my videos on the charge transfer complexes where you will find that like k2cr27 like K, kmno4 k2cro4 you will find that there is uh, ligand to metal type charge transfer spectra so they are having spin as well as leopard allowed transition so they are very intense in color color okay so uh, the transition metal complexes which are uh, having a spin is, uh, allowed transitions but leopard forbidden transitions they are colored but less intensely colored as compared to the charge transfer spectra uh, charge transfer complexes while the uh, the complexes having a spin forbidden as well as leopard forbidden transitions uh, they are um, less intense colored as compared to the complexes having spin allowed but leopard forbidden transitions so this is all about the selection rule because without selection rule the electronic transition is not applicable so if we know the selection rules then we can uh, confidently say that huh this is colored complex this is not colored complex because it is following the rules it is not following the rules so thank you very much